Hi guys, welcome to your July 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading Week 2 for the beautiful sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus by now. Um, you probably have seen your bonus, but if not, please go and check it out. The link to that is pinned in the comments. If you're new here, if you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to my tribe and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members and my patrons. Let's get started. Um, I know that there was a uh, power struggle here between you and your person. We're going to jump right into it. Um, I know it. Um, in the past, and even now, the struggle, honestly, that was the, the struggle, um, which was the straw that broke the camel's back, was their need to control. And this isn't boy meets girl, girl meets boy, and, um, you know, you go out and do something stupid. No, they fell, they fell in love with you, you fell in love with them, and everything was fine. The issue here that's coming up is that they choose to be stuck in an energy that is not conducive for the success of this relationship. And as a result of that, the conflict resolution is minimal. It's like zero. There's a conflict, their words exchange. Instead of sitting down at some reasonable amount of time and speaking about it, they run. And you got tired of it, Cancer. You got tired of it. I'm looking at it. And now they realize that on that one time too many, they were unable to come back. Um, the energy that is in your past is the chariot. So you are definitely here. Um, and I know that you manifested the movement between you and this person you manifested or this person, a person that had a lot of their qualities, a person or an individual that was of like mind, but we, we manifest and, and I'm going to talk about this at some point because this is very true. We manifest what we think we want. And then there's always these little pockets of personality or things that we just can't, we didn't think about. I mean, that's what anything you, you know, I thought, I thought about that. I thought it through, but Oh, I didn't think about that. I mean, you're not, um, you know, a robot. There's going to be things that you just can't, you, you, you can't think of. And you did manifest this. You played definitely a role in, you know, raising your vibration to such where you attracted this person to you. Uh, the law of attraction states all of these things and whatever you're dealing with, a little bit of that may, you know, exist within you. And that's a good thing because how you handle it, maybe you will recognize it maybe in yourself. That's what the law of attraction of, of attraction is supposed to do. But some of the things that they came to the party with, no, you were just like, no. And I do believe that. Um, and when I'm looking at the nine of pentacles, I feel like this person is used to being single. They're used to kind of running the show. Now, don't get me wrong. The beautiful energy about the chariot is having the will and seeing the victory and all of the beautiful energy that Cancerian energy uh, brings out of this car is great. But when given with a, a person that's ha that has issues, that's using that, that energy to move forward as a means to control that's when the chariot can get a little, whoa, whoa, whoa. So what they were used to in the past was used to doing their own thing. They were used to doing things in a very selfish way. They were used to moving forward and having the will to succeed about their own interests. That's a nine of pentacles. That's not a 10 of pentacles. You know what I'm saying? So they wanted someone that they kind of manifest at you, a person that has your own mind, that is entrepreneurial and all of the other things. But that doesn't mean that when it came down to handling things between you guys that they were going to be excellent at that. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at this, I'm definitely seeing some things that happen. Now, if we clarify um, in the past, yes, they were constantly on the fence. They don't make decisions well. They were constantly on the fence and that, you know, there was, are we going to go like they have the energy there? but tapping into the energy and really using it instead of the beautiful energy that the chariot can bring, you know, there's always these two roads and they use all of that beautiful willpower, which probably turned into some type of ego into them controlling the trajectory or the outcome of some, a lot of things. And the only thing they were interested in is controlling which way both of you guys were going to go and just took that energy and made it something completely different. Yes, and the nine of pentacles, we're talking about the single the single man, single lady card, 
being clarified by many suitors. Yes. And maybe, you know, that says at the bottom one stands out in the crowd. Maybe that was you, you know, so they have this energy of cockiness, almost like I can do what I want when I want and how I want it. And that just didn't fly with you anymore. Like it's like, and so can I, I actually manifested you. So I'm gonna need you to sit down, sit your out as down before I make change. <laughs> no cancer. Let me stop. That was ha 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 ha. That was a little, little, Look, comedy. Okay, let's get into it. So the first card in your energy is um, the Ace of Cups. You saw that. We do have the Knight of Cups. In the heart place, we have the Hermit. <laughs> we also have the Magician. And then we have the World. Look at that. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And we have judgment. Okay. So obviously this person is in love with you and it could be that the reason why they are in love with you, um, that's, that's what caused them to go crazy. I mean, when we think about it, they went from single to falling in love. You took a person that can do what they want to do when they want to do it, control what decisions they made, when they made them choose the suitors that they had, male or female, whatever and attaining what they want, the fruits of their labors, working hard, not letting anybody tell them what to do, to falling in love. And they're like, oh, whoa, whoa. I don't like how any of this feels. Um, <clears throat> love took over. And they went from being the man or the woman that were in, was in control of their own destiny and doing their own thing. <clears throat> they then turned into this blubbering little person, little fool or whatever, being vulnerable. That's what they felt. They internalized that they felt small, that they felt worthless, that they felt like they were not in control. Um, and they are ready now after the judgment, which is here, after all of these beautiful major arcanas to kind of work with you now, um, falling in love or, you know, the love was already there. They fell in love. That was not the problem. The problem was the way in which you guys handled your problems. How did you handle conflict resolution coming in? You know, with this amount of love, there is this misconception a lot of the time that, you know, well, love, we're not going to disagree. That's complete BS. You know, you're two totally different people raised differently, you know, with different beliefs. Love just means that you well, not just means, but you're going to integrate with someone, you know, with the world. You want to come in and you want to now integrate this person into your life, make them a part of your life. You want to do that. It's not about you know, leading the separate lot, but you know, it really depends. Some, some people, when they fall in love, they really want you to be your own person. And we get together when we get together, but we're not going to get into that. This person is definitely in an energy now where they're feeling a little bit more. There's definitely been a change on the horizon. They are feeling a little a way, way more than they were willing to um, show you before they did fall in love. And you kind of knew that cancer. Um, but they did not show you, well, they show you, but they, again, they were very in control. They saw success again. They took this energy, um, and made it into something different. They used that chariot to their advantage and you kind of just went along for the ride because the chariot energy is comfortable for you. That's your major arcana. So you're like, okay, no problem. I am the chariot. Like, it's like, but at the same time, they kind of took that and kind of manipulated the situation a little bit. Um, and really the reason why they became the wounded warrior with this nine of wands at the top of the deck is because of their trust issues. They have trust issues. They have trust letting people in. So they can be successful. They can do all of this and they can do all of that with you. And, you know, um, move forward in a relationship, go out to eat, whatever it is that you guys did. But there was always this peace. I got to control this peace. We can be bunny and quiet. We can be whatever, but I got to control this. You know what I'm saying? That's just, 
whatever, you know, that that's that thing. And I'm doing it because I don't trust people. This person has probably been taken advantage of in the past and all sorts of things. Um, and they're very powerful, very, very strong. But they, as I stated in that, in that, um, in your bonus, you got tired of the conflict resolution skills being minimal and them running. So on this last time you guys get into an argument or you disagree instead of coming together and talking about things and sitting down and communicating, sitting down and communicating, fix it. You see that? What they would do is they would run. And I just think that this last time you just got tired of it. And um, you, you, you just said, that's it. Like, I'm not about to do this with you. You need to grow up. They retreated. They've been looking for answers. And unfortunately, the answer is you. I know I keep showing you these cards before I am announcing them. That was the divine feminine. Um, I do feel like with the magician, they're starting to walk into more of an energy like I've already showed you and using those tools more for love to cultivate this ace of cups that they want rather than to constantly make things stagnant between you. Okay. They're ready to integrate. They are ready to do all of this. I feel it. They're ready to work with you with this three of pentacles because they've been worked on with the judgment. They've been reborn. They really want to move into an energy of fixing it because they don't want to lose you. And I told you guys this, the thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Absolutely. And I regret walking away. That's the reason why that video is titled that. So if you're here first, go and take a look at it. Um, and we go into how they feel. The Ace of Cups is being clarified by the Divine Masculine. The Knight of Cups bringing that beautiful romantic energy. You have to be ready to do that. They already have the energy of the chariot. They have an extreme amount of willpower. They see victories. They're very uh, strong. They can accomplish this. They didn't stop being that person. They just stop using the energy of the chariot or are going to moderate and, and, and slowly stop using the energy of the chariot so they always win and allow other wins for other people, especially you, the person that they love, Cancerian. The Knight of Cups is here saying that they're choosing love now. Instead of choosing the Nine of Pentacles, instead of choosing to be successful in the Pentacle, they want to choose love now. Because that's what loving you did. And when they came this last time with that garbage and they and, and they they started their pattern and you put the kibosh on that and told them, no, I'm not dealing with this. Um, as they went looking for these answers, that's where they found their divine partner. So now we have the energy of the divine feminine and masculine right here. They realize that um, and it can be vice versa if it is. Whomever is on that end, they realize that you were their divine counterpart, okay? The magician was being clarified by hurtful words, which is the first um, indication that a magician, a low vibratory magician will use um, his tools to manipulate. Um, so I felt in the bonus video that this individual was definitely um, trying to control the narrative. They get diarrhea of the mouth. Um, they kind of go into this thing where there's hurtful words that are being said, but I've already showed you that they have trust issues. So that could be a control or a, a coping mechanism, of course. But they also want to use the energy of the magician when I see what it's surrounded around. It's very positive now. They want to use this to transform. They want to change. They want to use and yield that magicians energy and all of those tools for good because again they are choosing love now not to mention um now that they're doing this and looking at it from a different perspective cancerians then the world is here and they want to start to you know integrate those lessons and integrate you into their lives and the beautiful energy of beginnings and cycles endings and and um ending and new cycles beginning now, again, that gate is open and now they would like to take that leap of faith and walk through. 
Not to mention there's an energy here of working with you. They didn't work with you before. They were cold. They could get to a point where they could be like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this. And then they have a tendency of demolishing you with one word. You're not overly sensitive. You try to balance it out, but you, none of us, I don't care who you are, cancer or not. We don't want the person that we have feelings for to say certain things to us um, and normal things. Like what is really normal? You, you, you are the one that needs to uh, come up with what's normal. When I say normal, there is a difference. There is a gauge. There's a difference between overly sensitive and then where it turns into something else. So, you know, this person does do a certain amount of attacking um, for various reasons. And, um, you know, now they want to work with you instead of working against you. I feel like you guys will get to a point where it will it will turn into a lock of horns instead of, a OK, let's sit down again and fix things and. They've had a change of heart about the way that they look at those pinnacles, because remember, they were in the nine of pinnacles and now they want to bring it all the way back down and start from scratch and start to really, you know, work with you and be a part of a team with the three of pinnacles and do things more with pinnacles, with commitment, with togetherness, things that we're going to build this. OK, from the ground up. I built those 10 pinnacles on my own. Those nine pinnacles. I'm good right there. I can stay right there forever, but no, I'm going to, you know, get rid of some, go all the way back down to the three, bring you up and we're going to advance together. Okay. Um, because that judgment is there. There's an absolution. They've been reborn. They're getting their lessons. Spirit is working on them. And now as they go through their moment, of realization of contemplation and all of the things that the hermit does searching for answers in the heart place, kind of putting themselves on a time out to figure things out. Then that's when they only can, then they have the strength to want to come forward and fix things with that fix it card. Okay. I am going to actually go in really quickly before we leave divine masculine, divine feminine, Choose love, hurtful words, gate is open, change of heart, and fix it. They do have trust issues, which I've already shown you, but I'm going to focus my energy on hurtful words. And I want to see some patterns here, Cancer, just to see what spirit is saying. I'm going in with sacred soulmates. And we do have deception. They did not let you know how they felt. And again, they held back information. And so when they held back information, they did that because they have these trust issues. They felt like the wounded warrior, um, which is not bad. You know, they, they had more stamina. They can go forward um, with those trust issues. They kept going and going and going. And in turn, you looked at it like this is nothing but one endless cycle after the next. We're not getting anywhere. OK, so that was one of the reasons that caused the hurtful words. Um, show me spirit because of the way that they held back. Um, but they do want a new phase and love to begin. That was new love. Just give me one more pattern with the hurtful words, spirit. What do we have for this? We do have show me, please. All right. We have renew an adventure. They want a return of passion. I know that. I know that. Okay. Community is healing. What is this? We have up. Oh, well, we got a divine masculine again. So this is definitely confirming that it was the divine masculine or the masculine energy in the relationship who is coming forward and saying it was them. All right. Are you going to give me one more thing that shows me a pattern? Let's see. <laughs> well, new beginning. So I think we have enough letting go, changing time to move forward with risking and, and opportunities. And I feel like that alone, the risk and opportunities and moving forward and letting go goes back to their trust issues. Um, when they feel like they're being triggered, when their insecurity of trust is being triggered, then that is exactly what they do. Then they go into this hurtful words game and it turns into a sparring match. Um, and yes, the, the top of the deck shows separation. 
surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation. The highest levels of love always serve and are without conditions and past life soulmate. So that's your uh, that's your confirmation that you guys have had many lives together. Um, it looks like the energy just does not want to give me any other thing they, they, that lets me know that this person really wants to move forward and not focus on all of the things that they did. But they definitely did it because um, of them being triggered and um, in trust. So or their trust issues were triggered like share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe thank you so much for allowing me to give you the energy i will see you in a couple days cancerian where we do it again and i bring you the you versus them from the 15th through the 31st bye guys